One of the biggest struggles that people have when it comes to practicing consistently is simply showing up and getting started. And even if they do manage to get started, after a few weeks, so many people give up early and ditch all the new routines that they are trying so hard to build up. There are various reasons behind why this is such a common occurrence. And I learned that more often than not, it has a lot to do with the source of the drive behind someone's actions. Hey, this is Ina Langerman from Violina That Live, helping you along your musical journey. In this video, I want to share with you one very powerful idea from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. This has been one of my favorite books of this past year, and this book has been translated in over 50 languages now, so it might as well be considered one of the best-selling books in the entire world. I know this is pretty extreme for me to say, uh, but in the year 2021, it has been a bestseller in so many different countries. And if you'd like to learn more about this, I'm going to leave my affiliate link down in the description below. So in the book, James Clear writes about what he calls the four laws of habits. Now, I'm not going to be covering the four laws in this video, but governing them is one powerful idea that I believe lays a strong foundation that we all need in order to develop and maintain a consistent practice routine. This is a concept known as identity-based habits or identity-based goals, depending on how you look at it. The idea is that with every action that you take, you are casting a vote for the kind of person that you wish to become or for the kind of person that you identify yourself with. Or another way you can see it is with every practice session that you are earning experience points to level up in your specific discipline. To reverse engineer this concept, if you visualize yourself as a great musician, you are more likely to show up to the practice sessions and also you are more likely to rebound quicker after a mishap. This is an inside out approach. So it starts with your core values, with your beliefs, and it leads to results. Now the opposite of this would be known as outcome-based habits or outcome-based goals. And most goals that people set for themselves these days fall into this category. And of course, I'm no exception, and I think just about everybody sets outcome-based goals in their life. Unlike identity-based goals, this kind of goal is an outside-in approach and revolves purely around results. And the thing is that these results may or may not be in line with your uh, genuine self-identity beliefs. And if they do not, then the onset of burnout, it will catch up to you pretty quickly. And let's face it, pretty much anybody can spend an, a good week practicing their instrument well, but if their intention is not in line, it's not aligned with the kind of person they see themselves, then this habit will be very difficult to maintain. So here are a couple examples of how we can transform an outside-based goal statement into one that revolves around identity-based. So let's say instead of saying, I want to become an expert at different positions on the violin, or I hope to play better in tune this year, or my big goal is to learn the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, you can say instead that the real goal supporting all of those is simply to become a better violinist. And here's an example for teachers. So the goal isn't to get your student into an all-state orchestra or to get them to win a competition. The real goal is to be someone who continuously shows their support to their students along their musical journey. So what do both of these examples have in common? It's that a real goal isn't a means to an end. It's an entire lifestyle in itself. Let me repeat that. A real goal is not a means to an end. It is a lifestyle in itself. If you got any value from this video, please give it a quick thumbs up down below as that greatly supports this channel. Now, if you already identify yourself as a musician, but you're having trouble getting started with those practice sessions, in the next video, we are going to look at a couple tactics that are going to help you pick up your instrument. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss the next video. I'll see you in the next installment. Happy practicing.